breaking news prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile his excellency ekba simon Njoko, responds to nigeria government over plans to extradite him through their negotiation and bargain with the european union here are the news in details Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 28th of August 2024 and I have another breaking information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, His Excellency Eka Simon Njoko, has responded swiftly to the Federal Government of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, as they are planning to extradite him and trying to lobby and bargain with the European Union. So we are here to read out and of course show you the response of the Prime Minister. And I will be reading from Daily Post to Nigeria. After this, I will take you direct to his official and verified ex-handle for us to see the official statement from the Prime Minister of the BLGIE. And according to their own headline, they said, Simon Ekpa reacts to move by Nigeria government to extradite him from Finland. You can also see the date published today on August 28, 2024. Biafran agitator and leader of the Biafra government in exile. Biafra Republic government in exile. You must put that republic. Now, the prime minister, let me put it the right way. The prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIE. Mazi Samanekba has reacted to a move by the Nigeria government to facilitate his extradition from Finland in the dreamland to facilitate their dream to extradite the prime minister in the dream from Finland to the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria to extradite him in their dream. Always remember that. Now, Recall that the defense headquarters, DHQs, on Tuesday announced that the Nigeria government is currently engaging the European Union and the EU to extradite EPA in their dream. Defense headquarters, director of defense media operations, Major General Edward Boba, spoke on response to EPA's announcement on December 2nd as the date for the map presentation and official declaration of the Biafra Republic. Reacting, Ekba, who is known as the Prime Minister of BLGIE, in a statement posted on his official X handle on Wednesday, urged officials of the Nigeria government to participate in the upcoming Biafra Convention in Finland. According to Ekba, participating in the convention would allow the Nigerian officials to engage him in the debate regarding his move for Biafra liberation. He stressed that the constant call by the Nigeria government on the European Union and Finland to take action over his extradition confirms the legitimacy of the Biafra government in exile, which is the truth. <laughs> because if the Biafra government, in, Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIE, is not legitimate and does not bother the zoo, it not just bother the zoo, if it's not a threat to the zoological republic. I don't see any reason why they will be running helter skater, engaging and bargaining with the European Union to see how they will lay their filthy hands on the Prime Minister. Now remember that Britain has already failed them. Not that Britain was not interested, Britain tried, but there is nothing they could do. After all, the three suicide bombers sent to Finland to attack the Prime Minister moved from Britain, from UK. They travel from United Kingdom to, you know, to Finland. One managed to enter Finland, but later run back because the remaining two could not make it to Finland. So Britain tried everything they could, but they couldn't make it. That's why the zoo is now trying to, you know, persuade and bargain with the European Union to see how they can convince them to do something on the Prime Minister. But they have already failed because European Union operate 
within the ambit of the law. Remember that the Finnish Foreign Affairs told them that the action they are talking about will have to be based on the law, not political. Had it been it was political, they would have had their way to do to him what they did to Mazin Namdekano because the rendition of Mazin Namdekano from Kenya was based on politics. Based on politics and interest. It has absolutely nothing to do with law. That's why they broke the law, both the international and local laws, in order to kidnap Mazin Namdekano. But the Finnish Foreign Affairs Minister has already told them that any action they are talking about will have to be by law. <laughs> and of course, the law has already permitted the Prime Minister to fight for his freedom. In any way, any way, it, the, the law did not say you must talk for your freedom. The law says you must fight for, the, for your freedom. So, and you can fight whichever way you want. Whichever way. The law did not tell you to fight with your bare hands. The law told you to fight whichever way you deem it possible for you to fight for your freedom. It is welcome by law. That's why Ukraine is fighting with arms and bombs till tomorrow. Are you, are you paying attention? Remember, Ukraine is another European country. Now, let's continue. We are inviting them as Nigeria representatives and observers. The government of Biafra will recognize their presence in Finland and an opportunity to engage Simon Ekpa on the podium for a debate on Nigeria. We are inviting Major General Edward Buba to the convention and a special accreditation card is already approved for him. The constant call by the Nigeria government on the EU and Finland to take action against me only confirms the legitimacy and potency of the Biafra government in exile and the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. We will bring Biafra from exile, he claimed. He did not claim, he stated. He stated, Umokoko, what is claim about that? We will bring Biafra from exile. That is the word of the Prime Minister, His Excellency Mazi Samanepa. Not claim. Everything he tells you is gospel. And it all come to pass. All of them. Even the one he will speak tomorrow will still come to pass. So there's nothing like claim here. Now they said, Epa further extended an invitation to the Nigeria Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tugar. To the proposed Biafra Convention, which he said will be held in Lati, Finland, from November 29 to December 3, 2024. Now, this is from the Daily Post Nigeria. Let me then take you straight to the official and verified ex handle of the Prime Minister, His Excellency Mazi Simonekba. And as you can see on your screen, this is where we are now. He said, the attention of the Biafra government has been drawn to the publication by the leadership news that the Nigeria terrorist defense headquarters and Nigeria army, of course, is engaging the European Union for the extradition of their own Simon Epa. Of their own Simon Epa. They are engaging the EU for the extradition of their own, the Nigerian Simon Epa. I want you to pay attention to that. He said, not the Simon Epa of Biafra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, Tigo. They are planning the extradition of Nigerian Simon Epa, not the Biafra Prime Minister Simon Epa, the one we have. Not that one we have. Maybe there's another Simon Epa of Nigeria, not our own. Now, he continued, because that can never happen. Because that can never happen. Did you see that word? Can never happen. There is never there. Now, our response to the terrorist sponsors and their enablers is that we wish to use this medium to extend our invitation to the second Biafra convention in Finland. We are inviting them as Nigeria representatives and observers. The government of Biafra will recognize their presence in Finland and an opportunity to engage Samenepa on the podium for a debate on Nigeria. We are inviting Major General Edward Buba to the convention and a special accreditation card is already approved for him. Hi! Hi! Kids don't have fun idea where sometimes say, Hey, Bucky. Hey, Bucky. Njoko. Hi! Had he been the zoo was aware, had he been they knew who this man is. Chai! Chai! They wouldn't have allowed this thing to get to this point. They would have given us 
you know, Biafra many, many years ago. They would have allowed us to go many years ago. If they knew, they would have encountered somebody like Mazi Simon Epa. I'm telling you, the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom government wouldn't have allowed the Biafra Liberation Movement to get to this point. They would have allowed us to go since many years ago. Now, he also did something that, you know, something that made me laugh, actually. He said, those terrorists, Nigeria Army and Defense Headquarters going to the EU. I was faster than you. I went there in 2023 and you are going there one year later. He also, you know, posted this. You all remember this because I read this very news personally last year. He said, breaking. Please find attached letter from the chair of petition committee. Now, you can see uh, this was what happened, you know, last year when the BRGIE sent official recognition letter to the European Union. And of course, they responded. They responded to us, which is this. You can see the date, 4th October 2023. So I also read this very news. I believe those of you who are following will understand what I'm talking about. So this is the official response from the European Union. I don't have to go and start reading it right now because we have already done this, you know, many months ago. So he attached it. You can see on your screen. And in order to remind the zoo, in order to remind the zoo, that look what you are running around to do today we have already done it since last year over one year ago we were there in eu we have sent them our official letter for recognition so you don't have to instead of the zoo to be running around looking for who will help them to lay their filthy hands on the on the child of god to come and uh, you know rescue his children in the hands of a terrorist you know organization like nigeria and you are looking for a way running up and down to lay your hands on him instead of you to be wasting your resources taxpayers money in this hard economy why can't you just allow them to go allow us to go we say we no want again i know they top no be by force we are not fighting to take over abuja we are not fighting to take over lagos we are not fighting to take over uh, uh, kadona sokoto we are not fighting to take over you know all these places this is our own land that chuko kikabi ama gave to our ancestors is what we want only here we just want you to withdraw your soldiers, your terrorist soldiers, your terrorist police, your terrorist air force, your terrorist navy and all of them, what not. Withdraw them, call them back to Abuja so that we can be free. We are tired of people wearing khaki, going up and down with black and black, uh, you know, carry AK for a pointing at us. We are living at gunpoint. We are tired of it. So just call them off, tell them to go back to Abuja so that we can be free. That's what we want. That is the only thing we are asking. And failure to adhere to this warning and calls. What is happening now is going to be a child's play moving forward. Thank you, my people. Tosalo no more zia. And make it go viral.